Aliona hivi tunatembea hivi kwa tumbo yangu. Like a serpent. Yes. So the same thing the serpent that you only see in dreams. Aliona physically. Yes, mungu aliona kastuka. Like literally aliona. Aliona no mambo you you still have na siku chungu ni as in sure na kick. So nikamwambia if you don't believe me angalia. Kama I don't see why. Akashika hivi. The moment ina songa na siku chungu. So like it was like a real thing. Yes. How can I abort this child? Can I have mtoto wangu atoke? But if you want to abort, already asha kwa mtoto wangu atoke. Alikuwa anataka mtoto wake azaliwe. So he knew your plans and he was totally against your idea. Kabisa. Aha. Uh-huh. If I find myself that I'm pregnant, I'm going to kill him. You went to kill the father to you. Yes, I meant akuwa. All that time the doctors are just looking such nini nini nini. Like ah, she just have like some few hours and she'll go. So they were sure you are about. Yeah, I'm going. Leave. So they're just preparing everyone. Yes, we have to tarish you. So you need to make it. How do you make it? Kama wasa ni zani hati hivi. What of the rest? Mama, I got my little bit of relationship. What if you go? Me choka. Me choka. You're done. I'm done. Mm-hmm. Kama ya go, so me kikwa lesbian kuda shida. So basing from your past experience na heartbreak zenye ulikuwa unapata consistently. Mm. Zondo zilifanya uanze kupata thoughts. I want to become a lesbian now. Become a lesbian now. Cuz not only mwase kuna wengine pia unapata ngo na ku heartbreak. So I'm like I love you know this dude and he was my first boyfriend. What? Revelation 12:11 says we defeat the devil by the blood of Jesus and the word of our testimony. Welcome to another wonderful episode of my testimony show. My name is Kevin Nganga hosting on behalf of Nations and today in our studios we're joined by a wonderful lady who's going to be sharing her stories with us and telling us more about her life experiences, the challenges she has faced and what she has done to overcome the challenges. Now I hope you'll be inspired, motivated and encouraged and hopefully your faith will be uplifted before we end the show. Karibuni sana. Welcome to the show. Maybe you, you can start uh, about uh, telling us your name and where you come from. My name is Masi. I come from Donho. You come from Donho? Yes. Now, uh, how was your journey to the studios? It was nice. You're welcome. Yes. Thank so you. So maybe you can begin about uh, you know telling you telling us more about your childhood where you began where you came from. No. Yeah. Masi. Um because my mother refused to abort me. Yeah. They made a set up uh-huh. that my mother and my father would just part ways. Okay. And it happened. So they created like uh, an illusion to make you <laughs> Yes. Mother my mother uh-huh. alifanywa set up. Alifanywa set up. Kabisa. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The set up was all about my mother uh-huh. being left and parting ways with my dad. Parting ways with your dad. Yes. Okay. It it happened. My mother got uh she was very angry. Karudi kwa ushago. Uh-huh. It was a challenge for her because mm-hmm. even the mother was rejecting her because of me. Mm-hmm. The only person who was who was just supporting her is only the father. The father. Yes. Okay. It's just a point when she was around eight or seven months pregnant with me mm-hmm. she, de- she decided to go to the shamba yeah with poison uh-huh. uh it was a very funny story when she was telling me mm-hmm. when she reached over there she started she sat down when she wanted to drink the poison she to take the poison yes but her voice spoke to her uh-huh. and uh, the the cup that she was carrying uh-huh. With the poison in it, uh-huh. she had to bury it. So, so she went to the to the shamba yes. to, to, to take poison that she yes. had already made for her to take and she die. Die. Yes. But a voice spoke to her, and she knows she aborted the whole mission. Yes. Wow. Uh-huh. She was like, "Why should I do it? Why should I do it? It's not worth it. Is it worth it? Uh-huh. Why? Why should I please my sister? 
Is it worth it? It's not. She's not worth it. So, mm-hmm. she had to give birth to me. It her uh, afterwards. Yeah. Uh when I was 2 months pregnant. Am I when I was already born yeah, 2 months. Two months. When two I was months 2 months. Practice. Yes. Mm-hmm. My mother got my, got my mother got sick. Mm-hmm. Very very sick. Very sick. Yes. Are you aware of the sickness or Yes, main main sickness? She was oh, sick. One oh, breast was very sick. It was sick. almost it was like a cancer. Uh, like close to cancer. Something yes, close, close to cancer. cancer. Okay. So each and every morning she used to leave me with my grandmother mm-hmm. and my great grandmother. Yeah. She'll just go, mm-hmm. then she'll come back. Mm-hmm. In the evening, she had to walk from a very far distance to get her treatment. Yeah. It was very painful for her. When she'll come back, she'll find that my great grandmother, I mean, Ikea, Matawi. When she'll ask them, she'll, she'll always be told that, ah, it is just for protection. Matawi. Yes. So now, according to them, what they believed is Matawi is for it's protection. It's for protection. Those are protected. Yes. Wow. I understand why. But, I, but by the end of the day, I came to realize that my great-grandmother, she is this woman. She loves to do. I love to talk about Yes. I love to Lazima kama jashika, yeah. nothing will go away. Yeah. So, I well, just took it lightly. Mm-hmm. But the name which I was called, I was named after my grandmother. Mm-hmm. The name carries a lot of unfortunate things. It's like a, let's say, it is like, like a, a death sentence. A death sentence? Yes. Uh-huh. The name carries death. Death. Yes. Most people who are called by my name, they're either sick or they're dead before the age of 20. So, as in like the name that was given to you as a yes. baby. Most of the people that uh, are called, named after that name. Yes, Mudoni uh, uh, Mawashada. It is the worst name either ever. Either dead or, or sick. Either dead or sick. And they die a very awful death. It is either you die without blood in your... With... You are fully drained. You don't have any blood in your system. What? Or if not that, it is either you die with water. Water? Yes. You go to a river and you die there. So it's like it's either you drown. Yes. Or you run out of blood. Yes. And then you die. That's it. And you die. What? Yes. Uh-huh. My life actually it has been in and out of the hospital mm-hmm. since I was young. Mm-hmm. Uh, each and every time I used to go to the hospital, well, the doctor would just look at me. Yeah? You're not yet dead. You're back. You you are you're you back. are you sure you're supposed to be? Supposed to be buried, buried all the time. What? Because either you you have already conversed. So was it like a frequent occurrence that you would go? Yes. Even even my school life. What? It was hectic. It was hell. There is no particular time time any. After every two weeks, I'm in the hospital. After every two weeks, I'm in the hospital. So it was that serious. It was that serious. But the only thing that kept me alive mm-hmm. it was my uncle. He was a very prayerful man. Okay. Each and every time I used to get sick, I usually, Uncle, can please, can we pray? Then you just go pray, then you, I'll come back to life. You come back to life? Yes. When you say, like, coming back to life, does it mean, like... You get too sick and you see you, there yeah, are like people who are coming. Yes. Living in the body. Yes. When you're go, even you're going to see people who are coming for you. Yeah. Or even you feel like you want to kill yourself, suicidal, suicidal thoughts. thoughts all the time. Uh-huh. So as hell, in my life actually, since I was young up to now, mm-hmm. thank God. It's by the grace of it's God. It's by the grace of God. Thank so God. Suicidal my hey, mind, uh, it's too much. So thoughts are just coming in and yes, out. Yes, in and out. Keep up on life and just... Yes, Either you want to take a knife, what? take a laser blade, you take poison. So many things. Just yes. suicidal. Yes, you just want to die. What? Uh-huh. Life. Now, I was living with my grand. I lived with my grandmother since I was young until I was 10 years old. In this period of 10 years, 10 years. it has been hell. You go to school, you come back. Mm-hmm. When you look at yourself, you mm-hmm. wonder, who am I? Where is my mother? Where is my father? Why am I, why is my life like this? Self denial. Yes. What? I was even rejecting myself. So it came to a point where you you didn't find yourself as important as I was. Yes. 
even I was wondering, well, my life is just worthless. Right. I don't even deserve to live. Because we just look at the other kids, the life is just perfect. Yours? They're playing, they're having fun. Yes, they have their fathers and their mothers. Their fathers and their mothers. Yes, the only person who you have, which was my grandmother and my grandfather. What? Yes. So you, you were brought up from, uh, let me get it straight, from the age of two months yes. to ten years? From since born. Since since birth. So, since, birth, birth yes. since birth. Yes. Ten years. Ten years. You brought up by your, yes. your grandparents. Um, it was, uh, yes, it was hell, but since then it was fine. It was a bit fun. Yes. Uh -huh. Because I, li I was a very violent girl. Uh -huh. Violent. Very violent. You don't look like you're violent. Ha <laughs> I'm very violent. I used to be very violent. Uh -huh. I, even I used to beat up like, even if you're a group of boys, uh -huh. it does not matter the number. Wait a minute. It doesn't matter the, the number of the people that... Actually, I'm talking about boys. Boys. Yes. Not just anyone, but boys. Boys. You just beat them up. All of them. What? And until when I see each and every one of them, uh -huh. blood is coming out of either their, mo their mouth, nose, or even arm and even come up, men was go inje. I'm a true men, or any time that I'm very satisfied, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of Kazimuzuri. Was it like a feeling? You know, 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 you think that your boy is, you can know, a lady. Ah. Okay, it was like, so it was okay. that kind of a, like a yes. beef or something. And uh, what, what brought this violent spirit in me? So this particular day, mm -hmm. uh, I came back to, I came back home. Mm -hmm. I, I told my uncle, mm -hmm. actually I, I was, I was raised also by three uncles. One three of, uncles. one, one of my uncles, Kawambia, though right now he's, he's late. I went to school and I was like, 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 I was Hauna mkono. Hauna mkono. Hauna mgu. Unachapu ni akili ya una. Yu familia tuchapangu. Tuchapangu. Yu familia ni kigongo na gongana. So the, like the uncle was encouraging you to fight yes. back. Yes. And now it became now violence. Now it, it, now it just entered me. Yeah. Like okay. If I belong to this family and people fight. Why I'm not? I'm supposed to fight back. Yes. Uh-huh. When I go to. Well, at times now you, you, your grandma would just tell you. Can we go to the. Can, can we just go and fetch water from the river. Uh -huh. Or just go. If I find a boy there, mm. even if you're fetching water before me, uh -huh. as long as you uh -huh. get out. Una talk. If you're not going to get out, you're not going to get out. What? You're not going to get out. You're not And it was a must do. It it is is ever all of you get you. out, all of, the, all of the kids, they get out. They get out. They only the people that we find. Yes. First of all, do your business and then after you uh, believe, you can come I, 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 Yes. What? Yes, that's how I was. You didn't make you feel like, you know, like a John Cena or some superstar? Oh, yes. Uh, it was a stream of four. Of four. I was only three, three boys, one girl. One girl. And you beat them up? Actually, now, that was my group. It happened that we, it was me uh -huh. and my other three cousins. Uh -huh. That was my team. It was like a, like a team. It was a like team, a gang. gang. It was a gang. Yeah, so when you beat one of us, uh, all of us will just, uh, just chip in. You just chip in. Mm. But one of them just gave up. Now we remain three. Now you are three. No, are now three. you are four members, but one of them slipped uh, out. Because he was he was afraid of the violence. He's like, okay, you don't want to be uh, beaten. Uh, you people, you people uh, love violence, so but I just go out. So like you found yourself in the, you love violence. Too much. Too much to the extent that could you manage to control yourself? After I beat you up, uh, even at that time, I used I, be, I really, I really chop up to the plan and back and I got to a wrong goal. What? Uh, to an extent, I got to a wrong goal and I shocked to a damn I'm like, yeah, I'm satisfied. After any, you shall find your violence, your and you ask you at least. Yes, and I, I didn't even to regret regrets, but die. No regrets. No regrets. So you just beat up someone and then after you beat them up successfully, I'm like, yeah, yeah. now you're at peace. I'm at peace. I came to realize it was a spirit. How did this go on, you know, you and being violent, you know, and your gang, that is? With my gang? Yeah. We happened to be in the same nursery school. Mm -hmm. So this is way back from Kitabu. Childhood, Kabisa. Childhood. Childhood was, I think I was four years old. Four years. Four years old. Uh -huh. and, and to date, do you still have that spirit of violence? No. 
I, I was delivered. How did it affect you, you know, personally in your life? Did it ever make you feel like you want to change? Did you have point to corner? I need to change my ways. Or what, uh, what really happened before you got delivered? Okay. Yeah. What happened? The big fight. What happened? There was a particular day. Me and my brother, we got into an argument. Mm -hmm. Now this pile of papers, file. File. Makaratasi. Papers. As in like papers. Then. File. Yeah, makaratasi. Uh -huh. And my exam papers, how you file. Uh -huh. How you keep the record. Yes, how okay. you keep records. Yeah. I just got very angry at him. Mm -hmm. Just took the file. Mm -hmm. I threw it into his eyes. Right it, into his face. Yes. He started bleeding. Yes. Come on. cut a match of his body. Because I could bleed. What? Tasa your time will go anywhere. Will go anywhere. No brother. Yeah, he got primary. Leaza kuri sumbu akili. I was around class seven up. What? Uh. Come gonga na file. File. And so what happened? After? How today? I kona I kona makia file up. Come match. What? Nili pita na macho zake na file. Na sasa ni police. Ukiona yo mark. Do you feel any regret inside of you? Before uh -huh. that particular day, ni mm. kona regrets. But then ni kimoanga lenga every. Mm. Afterwards, mm -hmm. after a week, I realized, eh, this spirit is too much. It has become in handy now. Yes. And you can figure your class is sasa. Mm -hmm. First time. Mm -hmm. To can uh, go shop here. Mm -hmm. To can do revision. Mm -hmm. But before to do revision, you can go to church. Mm -hmm. So the pastor prayed for me. Yeah. Akili zangu zika kuwa restored. Okay. Because I said, somebody stole your star. Na ka change na yake. Mm -hmm. So that we can become Danda. So like you failing and coming from from the top to, to bottom to bottom. Yes. It was all because of someone else. Somebody changed stars. Exchange of stars. stars. So uh -huh. the person managed to 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 restore to restore back with the star. To, to restore your star back. Yes. To you. But unfortunately, me no jinga yangu because I didn't know who was responsible. Uh -huh. So I just went back to the same same girl. To the friend in quotes. Yes. Sasa ni lamu na fanya revision. Ni kapata ten ni mau sasa. It's because you're just going to do exam eh, but die. So ni kapata ten over ten ni kapata four. The same same paper. Then ni letu. Then ni makiangu mi ni kama kiaake. Then ni kapata mingi kumeleko. So I forgot the paper ni ni leko ni me. Aha. Ipe pa ni mpata ten over. Eh, ni kasa u kwa yosho pia. Ni kamuachia. Ah, si bono ni karudia na ni karudia pe vo. Kwa ni kafanya exam. Ni karudia to my normal max. To your normal max. To your normal grades. Yes. Ya kakuoko chini miniko. Konju. Mama kia kenda tu. Mwale na enda anga. Did the same thing. Swapping. Swapping. Kwa swapped. Aha. Kafanya class eight nili pata max kidogo zili kwa zimeni discourage zili pata one hundred and ninety five. What? That time exam sana juu how what happens after you do exam takes a period of three months alafunio results results ziha zimuitiwe. Now results ziki ziki peano nili kosha go I was with my grandmother and my grandfather. Okay. So ni kape one news. Kambo masi. Um, the Pazakos in Metokia, we have seen your results, and uh, uh, <laughs> my mother, Queen Ambia, was already Ambia. Um, 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 so you secluded yourself for three days. Yes. After the results came out for yes. your, you know, primary education. Yes. Aha. That's an even in a mungo. I told God. 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 I I told God, it is between me and you. Mm -hmm. I promise you, it's not part of the Shilamzuri. Mm -hmm. So it's like 
Nkabombe it is like deal. this. You made a deal with yani God. Uli make deal na God. Eh. Nisipopata shule nzuri. Nisipopata shule nzuri. Uh-huh. That is not issue issue where 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 I need to go to a school. Mm-hmm. Where I will know you more. So you wanted to know more of, of God. Shule ni it, it will it will embrace me. Okay. Embrace you and teach you more about Yes. God. I was obsessed with God. Uh-huh. Toka ni kwa mdogo. Okay. Yes, actually I was, I was uh, seven years old. Mm-hmm. I was very very sick. Seven years. Seven years. Niligonjeka uh-huh. nikapelekwa ICU. Mm-hmm. Actually, watu mm-hmm. walikuwa wanaongoja nikufe. What? Yes, nikipelekwa hosi. It was me and God alone. So it's like well, you're fighting for your life. You're fighting for your life. You're in a deathbed. Right? Yes. What kind of sickness was this if I may ask? Uh my my heart was yes. full of many diseases. I didn't understand. So like nobody could tell what was Block really pneumonia, malaria, whatever. It was just full of vitukos. Multiple illnesses. On yes. One, on one body. On one body. So like the doctors So that the doctor said al kasama huyu sio ni akimik. And that is the doctor t- saying. Yes, anambia anambia sasa grandmother yangu and my uncles. Mm-hmm. My mother my, my mother was was uh, aliko aliko Nairobi. Mm-hmm. So I like him be a key break your news because mm-hmm. aliko shocked. Of course, oh yes. She was very shocked. Ka jump to take sasa hapo. Amen. Me and food ne. Amko mnasikiza na. Tukasikiza chakula. Do you believe that hiyo ndio ilifanya maybe probably ukaanza kupigwa attract this kind of illness? No. It is the agreement of the name agreement of the name yes the name that you are I given, given. yes so all this suffering that you're going through uh-huh. is as a result of the name that of was the given name, to you. of the name i was given so what happened after you know you were uh, having i was taken to the time? hospital at uh-huh. night at night what time was it if you can it remember? was around 9 uh, 9 9 o'clock 9 p.m. Uh, okay all that time the doctors are just looking search nini 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 I'm like ah she does have like some few hours and she'll go so they were sure you are about yeah, I'm to going leave. so they're just preparing everyone yes we have to tarish we have to make it how does he make it what yeah well, this time ni bako na pata tonsils actually tonsils ile cause na nishika mhm daktar ukimfungulia mdomo kumwambia ha akwambia you you know you're supposed to be in the theater how swollen were they they were so swollen even the a pus was coming out pass from the tonsils pass yes at what age are you at this point in life all that time since i was 10 years and below yani mekuwa ni kitu mekuwa ki happen mekuwa ki happen every time you go to the doctor like we're supposed to be dead what is that you're supposed to be dead you're supposed to you that you're supposed to be in the hospital yani it's either you're in the hospital or, or dead. you're supposed not to be around yes now no, this time they were very sure i'm not going to come you're back to, to life according to them that was the end of you yes So what happened after you know you went to the to the ICU. ICU that is I was in the ICU uh-huh. we were like three girls over there mm-hmm. all of us we were girls mm-hmm. and one boy at the corner okay now uh-huh. I was when the doctor is saying me I'm going to die me I'm just singing I'm in my own world what Did it, was it that you could not hear the doctor's report or you were just feeling like singing you are in I was just seeing I was just seeing angels what could you possibly remember how some of us have not seen angels especially like myself how do angels look like I'm they are very huge, huge huge beings huge beings can you like describe their color or something actually do they look, they, do they look like how do they look like I'm curious they're very glorious by glorious they have long hair long hair with wings what and them they are very they them they are in white so they are, they, they they have long hair they have wings and they are all in white yes uh, be sure to be keen when i see one <laughs> <laughs> should yeah i should ha uh, no we were just seeing angels there mm-hmm. there was an open heaven now open heaven um, around midnight heaven, what's like an open heaven like the sky it opens so is an it like clouds the, moving apart yes they move something? apart then you're just seeing light from above from above 
So let me get it straight. So yes. you're here and then you all of a sudden you see the skies have opened, opened up. and there's light in there's it. There's light coming from the clouds. Yes. And so what came up from down from the cl clouds? From you know, the something clouds. Something must have come up from, yes. come down from the clouds. I saw know. a hand stretching out and calls me. I'm like, eh. a hand. A hand stretched out. Was it like a, a big hand? Or it was a big hand. Like heavenly cover beings, the whole of your body. Hev so. Heavenly beings, they're very huge. Big things. Huh? Uh, but I couldn't see the face. So the face is not visible to you, but yes. you're just seeing the hand. You can see the hand okay. calling you child. Actually, it asked me a question. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Or do you want to stay? I just look at it. Mind you, I'm very sick and the doctors just... Just doing their own tests. They're doing their own work. It happened that the doctor now... And I said, I won't go and I end And that time, the hand, it's being stretched out. Being stretched out. Now yes. to you, so that you... Now it, is either, now it is for you to make a decision. Do you want to go or do you want to do you remain? Do you want to stay or do you want to go? Now I remembered my mother. Now I'm like, I ah, know. Not today. What? Not today. So you didn't want to go anywhere, personally? That's for you? No. You I remembered my life. mother because I really love my mother so much. Uh -huh. That's good. I love my mother. Uh -huh. No, I'm not coming. You're not going? Not now going you, anywhere. Did you reply like, to the voice yes, I was yeah. talking to? Mm -mm. Just said, mm -mm. It is a yes or a no. Mm -mm. Yes, yes or no. Mm -mm. So the hand came back and closed. So, so after you said you don't want to go with this hand that yes. is stretched out to you. Yes. The heaven now, the, the hand, hand retracted and went back to yes. heaven. And the heavens closed. Yes. No, I was just seeing the clouds only, white clouds. That's amazing. Yes. Uh, actually, did you actually tell or share your experience to anyone after that? Uh, no, I kept quiet. So you kept it for yourself? Yes. Uh -huh. So after that, what happened after, you know, you refused to go? No, I, I actually, my, my, my uncle, mm -hmm. who I used to pray with, mm -hmm. let's call Uncle Francis. Mm -hmm. I found him just praying. And I thank God for him because he saved. He actually pleaded with God also. Mm -hmm. I didn't go. My mother was given the report. It was around 10 p.m. The yeah, early yeah. report. Uh, your daughter is very sick. She's almost going. Mm -hmm. So the whole day she was traveling to come back to go to come back to Nyeri. So you were, at that time you were at Nyeri. Yes. And your mom is in Nairobi. Nairobi. So at she had, night. She had to commute all the way. Yes, to to Nyeri. And this is an emergency. Yes. Uh, must must, be, must yes. have been hard for her. Yes, it was very emotional for her. But how did she find you when she, you know, When she came, around? she found me laughing and sitting and talking and singing. And I was very lively. And you're still a small kid. Baby. How was high school like? High school. Yeah. It happened uh, after, after, after the series of telling God. Series of, you know. In the God, After you made the agreement. Yes. Uh -huh. Aha. boarding school. Uh -huh. The stepdad that I was living with, the Kakata. The stepfather now? My stepfather. Okay. Mm -hmm. I went to boarding school. And I used to love. Boarding school. Boarding school. To boarding school. So your passion was in boarding, boarding school. Can I be no? I'm not going to boarding school. Can I be a colony? No, we're in a boarding school. I'm just our bossy. Have it your way. So, ni le to mendele na life. In high school, uh -huh. I started. I started drinking. Uh huh. So when you when you say drinking, what kind of drink? Ah, a very drunkard person. A very a drunk that is. Yes. Oh. Uh. And she was, when I was you, in form you know, two. Form ah, she was in the day school. But I was with a poor school fees. We don't carry pay cash. In cash. Cash money. Uh huh. We don't have a thousand like a candle. Uh huh. Like we had a group of six people. Another gang. Another gang, <laughs> so it's a gang ya shule. Mm. Kwa ita mwato to court court. Mm -hmm. What was the meaning of court? Court court, people who are coming from estates. Oh. Uh -huh. Now that ka group, uh -huh. we'll just organize a party. Mm 
like in a like in a house mm -hmm. somebody's house yeah because my mother knew that i was a very good girl good guy but you kabisa but when you leave miss leave church girl church girl church girl completely uh -huh. yeah from tuni walianza kulewa so mm -hmm. school fees kando mm -hmm. oh we metwa 1000 kando from school fees now yes. for your own expenses kabisa uh -huh. now mm -hmm. because nilikuwa na poor bus fare that is how i used to recover to recover daily so now you use the bus fare to to recover to the money yes the 1000 that you took from the yes uh-huh give cause school fees no like si mama kwa alijua na baba kwa mkupeke tu kama 5000 ulipe but by the end of the day you have that 5000 ampere receipt mm -hmm. so you take the receipt behind that has been indicated the exact amount that you're supposed to pay after your yes una jua tanika for then there's a way you can manipulate it so you manipulate you manipulate from until it becomes 5 So in school you are indebted but your parent knows that yes this, yes uh -huh. the party life brought a lot of chaos what kind of chaos the fine because the, this guy gonna pena kwenda kwao the brother fell in love with me and for me did it to yes. the friend yes to my classmates uh -huh. so you find there's a girl in school who wants this brother yeah So all the time ni le. I love it too. Mhm. But then God I didn't beat anyone up because for me I didn't love to beat. You mean. So now. Yes. You inform too. You're drinking. You're going to parties and uh the last time I checked you were telling about about this brother to your friend. Guy, I do. So what happened after that? I do. And well, uh, those persistent boys that you can find that they want you. So they are kind of persistent. Yes. Uh -huh. Though this girlfriend aliongoja niende. Ndio akakuja. No, alikuwa anajoy what we were pushing with the dude. So she knew. We were pushing. She waited for you to leave and then I just left kidogo to. What? The girl I kind of can introduce to a family. Family like in a boy. Mm -hmm. Church. What? to the friends and everyone in a period of six months yes so they did all this in a period of six months yes did you have, did it ever come across your mind that maybe they knew each other before or something actually But six months is kind of like a short time to do such kind they of were things. dating behind my back yes they yes. actually at the time that i um It's that that was 2016 mm -hmm. they've been dating since 20 2013 they've been dating since 2013 uh -huh. so by the time i was learning all these things it was already late for you yes. bearing in mind that you you're still a violent person yes. did you like you know take the situation in your own hands like beat them up or something but that or time you just by i wanted to know the truth uh -huh. so what did you do And just when I befriended the girl. Uh -huh. So whatever the girl told me. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Even so meeting her up or, or, or even talking to this dude. Because it's all the girl who approached it's all the boy who approached the lady. It's the lady that approached the boy. Yes. Uh -huh. She told me that the, we started dating a week ago. The next the next week I had already slept with the dude. What? So for me it was like okay, you know, I've been dating since 2010. Mhm. Mm Over the quarter 2016. Six good years. Six good years. Kama wasa za ni hati hivi, what of the rest? Mambo ya God mali tumefikisha relationship, pache fike hapo. Umechoka. Umechoka. You're done. I'm done. Mhm. Ikambi ya God, sasa mimi kikoa lesbian, kuna shida. So basing from your past experience na heartbreak zenye ulikuwa unapata consistently mm. hizo ndo zilifanya uanze kupata thoughts I want to become a lesbian now become a lesbian now because not only mwase kuna wengine pia unapata ngo na ku heartbreak so um, I love you know this dude and he was my first boyfriend what contrary to your expectation yes 
it's like a heartbroken come back god see even when i was in nys there is a girl who you wanted me nikika nikitikia kendi kuna shida what so i told god i'm only two months only love san mpige simu so you, you like you, you made another deal eh uh, so the second deal was about you are now going to become a lesbian mm. cuz you're tired of you know uh, heartbreaks apart from these deals mm. i also made a covenant i wrote something there is an agreement nini 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 so you you took a pen and I a paper i took a pen and a paper and then you you wrote like a contract or something yes what did the contract say i'm curious for me when we come on mercy i've decided to become a lesbian from today from today hence from today hence forth this is a seal nikao malipi yangu na nikamo kwa karatasi after writing the notes yes ni 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 kanga na machungu mingi pain cuz a lot of pain heartbreaks ni 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 it was a lot and now to seal to seal to the, seal the with it all of it all Rombia ni Rombia God ni wewe shetani na mimi na angels na demons. Ni tumeona hiki kitu. Na sisi tumeona hiki kitu. Ana hii feel na nini? Na damu. Na damu yangu. So you made a covenant. You made a covenant. And then what happened after you know the covenant? Did you like fulfill whatever you had written on the the paper? I got God could not allow me to do so. Wow. What happened? I told him it is only two. Two of us. Just me and you just to me and you and then and they were talking present quite room who but my mom never knew so you did all this the contract creation and signing and sealing alone alone in your room i do many things alone even when i'm angry mm-hmm. i write so whenever you have some feelings disturbing you i write you down, them down after when i write i tear then i burn so after tearing and burning does it mean it goes uh, as time as comes a relief it becomes a relief to you yes okay <laughs> I, 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 wanted to, i wanted to call the girl by the name kendi mm-hmm. the one in the forest the one from the forest from the forest okay but god made sure simu yangu imeharibika what did it like haiko inafanya kazi ama iliharibika iliharibika peke yake tengine kaibiwa kwanza ile anza ku misbehave nikapeleka kwa fundi kaenda hivyo god brought god brought another person in my life yeah. this person mm-hmm. alikuwa ametoka kdf mm-hmm. recruitment mm-hmm. amemaliza na nini yake training mm-hmm. family alikuwa ameza na yake training mm-hmm. So both of us we could understand each each other's language. Yeah. Those are the Christian. God can bring anyone in your life. Yeah. Just change your life. Just to change your life. Yes. Wow. See Christian from a different denomination. Kabisa. God can use anyone, mm-hmm. even drunkard. Just change your life. Just to change your life. Ali change your mentality of become a lesbian. Mm-hmm. He change it. Ali change completely in a cut it around. Mm-hmm. And said na na can share the better side. The good things about men. Yeah. From the because up my now now me. And I used to nearly am a god me na me we are done. I don't I don't want to I don't want any man. Yeah. In my life anymore. I met with this man, mm-hmm. the father to my daughter now. Yeah. Happen on the Luxana na baba mtoto wangu mm. actually for me not to accept this dude ni kwa nilikuwa na pregnant card yangu mm-hmm. which it went through mm-hmm. kdf pay kenda kenda through mm-hmm. i was to report mm-hmm. but i didn't report what Why? reported it was the pregnancy i got pregnant it a minute as per say you were to report at a particular time yes but instead of you reporting for the training yes you got a report that you were pregnant yes what what happened you know after you received the news you're pregnant did you go on actually so that actually what what happened kwa december mm-hmm. january na paswa kwenda mhm nilikuwa ni report january kdf yeah. after when i'm done with six months mm-hmm. i'm actually it was after 
after after near mm-hmm. not the next year kusa ndio niende states na niende niende sana nikafanye kama jeshi huko sasa nikapata na huu mwanaume but before he convinced me queen ya box like it was hard for him it was not easy it was not easy for him but i knew ili kwa ni card destiny it god 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 accept my destiny yako iko hivi you know that we kwenda hivi god will also make you come back to your destiny realign you to your destiny yes so the only way i can realign my destiny bring in this man in my life in your life so so that i can serve him So the dude came around and I got pregnant. He he knew but I didn't know. Wait a minute. He was aware that you're pregnant. Yes, but me I'm not. How? And yet you're the one who is pregnant. Because I was still a amateur. You know he used to tell me like, okay, the guys men can know when a woman is pregnant, but us we can't. But I so told him. So he was him, aware you're pregnant. Yes, but I told him. Yourself you're not aware. Yes. If I find myself that I'm pregnant, I'm going to kill you. You're going to kill the father to your child. Yes, I'm going to kuwa. Is this a good idea after you may discover you're pregnant? No, I went and bought a cat kit. Uh-huh. Iko pata mento kala in bili. You indicate I'm pregnant. Uh-huh. Kana is like I'm dreaming. Bought three. Three test kits. Three test kits. Just to make sure whether you're seeing You either you're not hallucinating or yes yes what nanga nikapata huyu mwanaume nikamwangalia hivi i'm going to kill you and kill myself what yes how did it take it was he shocked to him he was not shocked because he knew my character but for him for me to tell him that i'm going to kill him ale niangalia but in form of like Can you have, uh, so he was not sure whether you're you're serious or not. Yes. Uh-huh. so what happened? Nikaanza sana nikaka chini. I was thinking of how to kill this dude. You were thinking of how you're going to kill him. So you're going to start with the dude. Yes. You eliminate him first. And then, then I eliminate myself. Then you eliminate yourself. Uh-huh. Okay, jaribu kufikiria kuwa mtu. Think of acid. Think of how you can give a person acid and they could dry from the inside. Acid like as in like who are you going to give him as food or, or a drink? After after unaweza you can knock a person from the behind get unconscious. Come to acid akunywe. It dries from the inside. So your plan was to ambush him from behind. From behind. And have him take acid. Yes. Uh-huh. But nikipiga zile hesabu This dude ali connection na sister yake. Mhm. And the only time that you can be alone, mhm. No na it would be impossible. Yeah. So your plan could not work. It could not work. What other plan did you have? Another one. Yeah. I kill him myself. Mhm. After to poison. Mhm. Nimpe. But I was wondering where and how. How are you going to do it? Ako kwa gym. So nilo naangalia. Mhm. Tukimpe kwa gym. Ataanguka hapo. Ataanguka hapo. Na pia watu wataniona mimi ndio nimempea. Nikienda home ni mpesa stack yako hapo. Ni utajulikana tu. Utajulikana mimi. So in your mind was a, was a, you were to develop a tactic or a way that you're going to eliminate him. Eliminate this dude completely. Without anyone having an idea that it was you. Yes. Ah, so what happened? Finally ah. did you manage to do? I didn't. Because ah. all this time my uncle was calling me. "Hey, please can you come to my place?" Come and go this place every time that I want to kill him. There was always a distraction. There was always a distraction. Wow. Okay. All my life I can say God has been defending me. Na I'm kwa kinyonesha the right ways. Yeah. So, I was like on this dude is hard to kill. I wanted so to kill the baby. Now you want to kill The father is too difficult for you. It's hard for you. It has become completely impossible. Because for now you. you you want to, you had plans for my life. Did you have an idea that after eliminating the father and the kid you were going to have an awesome life after that? Yes. So your main objective was to eliminate the two major obstacles. In yes. That's actually the pregnancy. So you wanted now to to abort. To eliminate now to abort, to abort the baby. Uh-huh. 
I went to their Google. I googled everything. Everything they everything that the Google is telling me I'm doing it. Kila kitu. Kila kitu unapata those information yenye unapata kwa Google. Kwa Google I'm doing it literally. As in like literally to detail. Detailed kila kitu. Everything. What? But it couldn't work out. Nothing was working. What could what was actually happening? I mean, could you explain what is going on? Wow. I even I myself I couldn't understand. When I told the the, the, the father to my dad, the father to my daughter, I'm telling her, I'm telling I go and told him. How can I abort this child? Can I be mtoto wangu atoke? But if you want to abort, already I shall come mtoto wangu atoke. Alikuwa anataka mtoto wake azaliwe. So he knew your plans and he was totally against your idea. Kabisa. Aha. Uh-huh. So did you manage to raise the 3000 shillings before, you know? You have the money. Uh-huh. But you want to give it to him to get you the medicine. Uh-huh. So was it it was like a pill? Were you supposed to take a pill or was it like a, Actually, an injection or something? A seed of a god never dies. Seed ya Mungu yuko fangi. So the moment I want to give the money uh-huh. obviously all the time kuna kutokea ka emergency. Ukienda kupatia na tu pesa. Ka emergency ka tokea. Inachukua ile pesa. Chukua ile dona to make to ingine. So you never you never got a chance kabisa to buy that medicine. Aha. Uh-huh. So mbango uh, before je I'm pregnant kwa I'm feeling ni kani kuna malaria. Mhm. Kana kuna dawa za malaria. Because ukikunya da malaria sina it pours it, it actually you miscarry so if you take dawa malaria dawa malaria for for 3 months for 3 months of pregnancy eh inatoa because it, it will is be too strong hai kutoka at what age or period of pregnancy were you at this particular jump one month one month one month or two months and you've taken the malaria tabs and nothing has happened nothing is happening you're still pregnant yes I was uh, then when they google they're telling you take a lot of pineapple pineapples I took pineapple since the first day up to the last from the first day of the first month yes to the last day of the last month yes nothing so happened time. nothing was working out yes oh, indeed god is good because of i don't know what actually there's also how also you don't want to you don't want a man in your life mm-hmm. And you want to satisfy yourself. Mhm. Kaza masturbation. Mhm. Nikafika pale pia nikona nikaza ujinga. So when I stopped. Mm-hmm. After a period of two months now. Yeah. Yeah, I started to so I there was some there were some things growing. Things. There were things white things growing zinaka. Zinaka kama no. They they just look like your teeth protruding out. Mm-hmm. White things they're growing. You pregnancy you can't sleep mm-hmm. cuz you're just seeing nightmares when you're asleep back at your nightmares nightmares you're just dreaming with snakes mali kubaya kubaya kila kitu mbaya 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 so let me get this straight you're sick yes you're pregnant yes and the icing on the cake is yes. now that you're having nightmares. but nightmares yes nightmares, nightmares. And yes. my kid the pregnancy is not growing. Wait a minute. The pregnancy is intact. Yes. At what period of pregnancy are we talking about? Uh, Since first month up to the seven months. First month, month 1 to month 7. Yes. No physical change. No physical change. But it is there. But it is there. And even now, I'm holding my stomach. I can do I was even playing with my stomach. You're playing around with your tummy. Kabisa. I thought a pregnant woman should be having a very firm tummy. That was with me it was a different story. What? Now when people tell me I'm pregnant, I'm like, "Why are you moving like this? Why is it moving? Why so it why, like, why why am, why am I pressing it like this?" And you're seven months pregnant. Kabisa. Ni nakatuka kitambi, lakini still ni kitambi na divide. What? Wala tena mama wangu alikuwa anaenda akienda 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 church. Mm. The pastor will always say mm-hmm. I'm seeing I'm seeing death, I'm seeing death, I'm seeing death. Mm-hmm. But did he ever mention ni death ya nani? Alikuwa anaangalia mama wangu hivi. 
seeing death ama at the back of your mind umo ulikuwa na rejoice mimi mimi actually when akisema i'm seeing death my inner nilikuwa sina i had a suicide thoughts nisha pressure me ka 20 mm-hmm. na kuna agreement imemekiwa yeah. with mothonies and washavas mm-hmm. they realize too late that nisha pitisha what nisha pitisha zo miaka so the agreement was like if you got 20 what was going to you happen? are supposed to die so you die after your 20 years yes so literally everyone that was named like if you kisha hiyo miaka 20 even like reason because when you refuse to go on their side they will make you suffer they make your life miserable, miserable. so is it like a covenant that was made yes from the early days yes so how did you handle it yourself because technically you've made it from 20 years and above yes it is a miracle I tell god thank you because they realized too late when um nishap nishap it came at 20 no when they realized that I'm pre- they went nishap it came at 20 i got pregnant what now from this pregnancy mm-hmm. when you say there's demons meaning is you are when you say there's spiritual husband i've seen them literally literally they will come in your dreams and they'll sleep with you it is true are they like you know people or how do they look uh, yeah, can you just the the small things uh-huh. and they will defile you proper some of them they will even take a face of your person that you love they take a, a form face. of someone yes. that you, you like yes love. yes and then they do they transform to that person yes they will transform they will look they will always manipulate themselves so that they may look appealing to yes you. now you will you just accept ah. now from there that is how now i got those genital works mm-hmm. that is the time that i that nilikani kiomba mm-hmm. and that time i was watching prophet tb joshua mm-hmm. come god may just want to see, i want to see who where do these things come from mm-hmm. god showed me a particular man he was very huge mm-hmm. Alafu ni mtu amemea hizo vitu ziko kila mahali everywhere akona hizo vitu za white white was it in a dream or in a vision it was a vision a vision it was very disgusting a so man was a man. very disgusting nila mwana ume huge mhm me zin that man was very disgusting una uko ndani hizo vitu zinatokea nje kila mahali how did you learn at shakaina glory manifestations ministry there was this particular particular evening mama wangu alikuwa ameka tukwa hao mimi nimetoka nikaanza kutembea kwa sababu ni mtired hai mama kaza there's al mama alikuwa to the fm na kaza kusikia mama akiongea prama mama posto posto miriam si akakuja that was on a friday yeah akakuja kambo on wednesday mm-hmm. kuna wana na prophetic screening at this time you're still pregnant i'm still pregnant with a lot of pain. So did she come for you know for the service? She came. Uh-huh. The actress was the first person to arrive. Uh-huh. So nikikuja hapa was 7 months. Uh-huh. The first day nikakuja mama alikuja that Wednesday. So the next week tulikuja naye. No, the other week ndio mlikuja naye after yeah. she came. Abanya alikuja. Uh, there's a particular servant of God alimuuliza, uh-huh. "Where is your daughter?" Uh-huh. Ndaka sema, "Okay, I'll bring her." next Wednesday. Mm, the next service. Ni kuja huko. Nikuja na tumbo. Kwa ni finya finya. Bado unacheza cheza na. Unacheza na tumbo. Uko miezi ngapi pregnant? Kwa 7. 7. Kwa 7 sasa nikikuja huko. Yeah. Bwana ndio sije kanyaga clinic. Mm. Siku ikaanza clinic. 7 months ujaenda clinic. Sijaenda clinic. Uh-huh. Sababu sitaki kusikia sauti za clinic. Because if I if if I'm dreaming I have a snake in my in my stomach near kazi gun. Okay. And I forget la for una skim to that when you kick. Actually there's a particular day my mom was praying. Kanishika tumbo. Kwenda kuomba. Aliona kitu natembea hivi kwa tumbo yangu. Like a serpent. Yes. So the same same the serpent that you only see in dreams. Aliona physically. Yes, mwangu aliona kastuka. Like literally aliona. Aliona no mambo you used to la na skill chungu ni as in sana kick. So nikamwambia if you don't believe me, angalia. Come ahead and see for yourself. Akashika hivi. Mm-hmm. The moment inasonga na skill chungu. So like 
it was like a real thing. Yes. Literally, it was a real thing. Not only were you seeing it in dreams, but no, you, you saw it physically. No, you can see it physically. Kwa tumbo, sasa inazina ena hivi. So, I came here. Nika wambewa. Tumbo ikafura, nika fika hapa. Was it like a gradual process? Or was it, or was it, it was like instant. instant? As in like, boom, voila. Poof. Akashu, this is a particular server. Ali, neguza tu hivi. Kwa tumbo. Kwa tumbo. Uh-huh. Na akanda kukomani demons toke. Uh-huh. I was manifesting like a snake. So were you like coiling uh, yes, yourself? Yes, I was coiling myself. On the floor? Yes. So after the deliverance, your, your tummy became actually big. big. And fla- as in like very firm. Like a, a round belly. A le- yes. So na jade mkufanya hivi? Haifanyiki. Were you shocked by that fact? I was. Who wouldn't be shocked? Were you still in pain by this time? When I came here actually, that night I slept well. Mm-hmm. Well, after, my, after you, you I came, came here. The yes. As I now seeing clear visions. What kind of visions? About the church, because I was asking God, Kwani kanisa ni gani? Imeni stua. Yeah. So you're saying after the deliverance? The first day that I came The first came day here. that you yes. entered the doors yes. of the kind of. Yes. So when you, you received your first deliverance. Yes. Tumbuka. Tumbuka kwa round. Kwa sawa. Kitu ato kifanya hivi ato kigonga yezi songa. It got intact. Kabisa. Completely. And then from there, there were no bad dreams. Yes. And then you were relieved from pain. Yes. And I, I, could, no, I could no longer see those small, small things. The dwarfs. The demons yes. that you were talking about. Yes. Wow. So it was like an instant healing and breakthrough. Deliverance. Yes. That's But nice. my cue. Uh-huh. Apostle was not around. Now I met her the next week. Akini Peter. Nasikia kutoroka. The moment I see her. The moment I see her. Was she like intimidating you in any way? Yes, she was like intimidating the demons in me. No, now it's the demons that in Yes, that they are don't want you. to see her. I don't, don't want, want to see her you. literally. When I see her, I want to. Could you like I was so feel less-less. the difference between yes. the you and the you spirit city. The, 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 what is in you is fearing to go near her. Okay. And by that time I didn't know she was the one. So you are not aware she's the person you've been waiting for? Yes. Uh-huh. Could you control the motion or you just found yourself looking aside? You can't because whatever it is in you, it's so ungodly. As in if we took us the condanyako concussion of everything, So in you are understanding personally as per you, you, you know there is something that is inside you. Mm. Did you, were you aware that something is inside me? Even, Or even, did you find yourself Even the time you should, should tell people, if you want to be delivered, raise up your hands and pray. If she's in front of me, I'll tell her, just get out of this place so, if you can, so that I can pray. And would she go? She tell me, yes, then she'll just move aside, then she just laughs at me like, ha ha ha, that's longer. It was a process. Every time I used to enter in the gates of Shekena Grove, I used to manifest. Like every time? Every time. So this is not something that just happened instantly. It was a gradual process. Yes. Deliverance is a gradual process. You have to so you have to follow up step step and yes, be consistent. Follow. Yes. So finally Actually, you got delivered. Yes. The deliverance was, was so intense. Even six men will hold me and I will throw them away. What? Six men. You had the strength to push away. And I'm still I'm pregnant. You're still pregnant? Yes. Uh, seven months from Notro? Yes. And you're pushing? I'm pushing everyone away. Full grown men are you? Yes. As a lady? Yes. I can And not forgetting Emmanuel. a pregnant lady? Yes, those past Emmanuel. You see how the huge? strong men? Yes, that. those. What? Six of them. Do you feel like, you know, feel There massive? There's a strong man in me. There was a strong man in Yes, you. when you have a strong man in you, you manifest like that strong man in you. So now the what you're trying to say is that the strong man in you uses your body. Yes. To manifest physically. Yes, now. to manifest physically. So whatever you're doing at that particular moment, are you trying to say that you don't have any control whatsoever of your you body? You can't control your moment? body because your spirit is no longer there. And do you feel or do you see the, the things like you... You know, when the demons are manifesting in you, are you seeing everything? Like, do you see something you can't, like that? can't, because you're no longer yourself. You just find yourself after, after. beating on your 
pushing and you're doing all kind of things but you don't thinking. know what is happening yes you do when you are pregnant yes uh-huh. when, when when you're pregnant even for you to raise your leg is hard it's very hard but i used to kick people with my legs Seven months pregnant nguvu mingi a lot of strength oh my god but the moment that mom will come around me i'll be very calm you know listen the second not the third week uh-huh. so i started going to the clinic now you are not against going to clinic no ah, i'm very comfortable now uh-huh. i went to the clinic mm-hmm. everything was okay oh, it was okay uh-huh. i was tested everything was fine so no pain no bad dreams no sickness i'm good your tummy is round as it's Completely. supposed to be uh-huh. when you carry a servant of god or when you carry something that devil doesn't want yeah mind you this this pregnancy nilikata na pia nikataka kuitoa so nile side ya god nile side ya god when god gives you each and every each and every great servant ni lazima upitishiwe 2 2020 2018 8 8 2018 eh nikaenda hosi because nilikuwa na feel pains mm-hmm. kama those are forced labor now i'm there that was on a sunday mm-hmm. monday mm-hmm. she was said it got worse so mm-hmm. those are how many three days three days so the that the that day so when we nanga hosi mm-hmm. reaching there mm-hmm. kind of yeah ni mwana mfunga 2 cm but we don't have the facilities ni kama ndo kunywa chai moto i went and drank hot tea, tea. Uh-huh. Two centimeters bad. What? I was with my mom and my friend. Mm-hmm. So they had to go back mm-hmm. because they were shafika seven. Mm-hmm. Why is young go at ten? Yeah. And uh, you told me that now I want you want you want now to register you in. I I registered everything that I went inside. Mm-hmm. They like okay, would you feel like climbing the stairs nika panda juu nika shuka na panda na shuka na panda na shuka. Mm-hmm. still 2 cm so you're still bleeding yes is this the third or the fourth day the third day third day uh-huh unapanda ukishuka unapanda unashuka unapanda ukishuka mhm and i got tired nikasema kama mbaya mbaya mimi nimechoka kupanda kaenda kwa kila saa nikaka uh-huh. i called pastor emmanuel na mom nikamwambia mm-hmm. so they were interceding mm-hmm. you want to give birth bila la pepo kitanda so the doctor came mhm anza kunipima akanambia oh kweli unapa unakaa kuzaa wewe mm-hmm. tutakuwa ni mdogo sana mm-hmm. and how you feeling the pain the pain is too much for you unaangalia hivi daktari just look at the doctor <laughs> just click okay click Mhm. Mm-hmm. Mwangalia, cuz you can't cry. The pain is too much. Ni pain always lia. Always check her. Mm-hmm. I just there. Na yeye leo kitu na una go through sasa. The same same doctor is still discouraging you. Mhm. Ku discourage discouraging discouraging you mm-hmm. instead of encouraging you. Mhm. And I could discourage even the okwaka to even the nurses everybody is just discouraging you. Come here guys that's up. Mm-hmm. So what the, I decided not to ignore everyone and be on your own. Yes, it is between me and God. Mm-hmm. The baby actually nearly can na leba Tuesday or the nilisa usiku on on Tuesday on a Tuesday or Tuesday sasa. Mm-hmm. 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. Wednesday 1 a.m. when nilisa from 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 tuesday sunday from sunday monday tuesday leza wednesday close to four days yes what finally the blessings came the blessing didn't just come no even i'm calling the nurses nobody is listening the first time it alikoja mm-hmm. akarudi mm-hmm. the second time akakuja akarudi mm-hmm. kila mtu hapa even on your couple they're calling the nurses 
All of them were any snob. What? Yes. Well, you can't only joke, come on, you quick no. When others, when you know, I can be a. But when it came to my turn, they were just there. Nobody is bothering. So, what happened? What did you do? But before I told God, me give me just the, the, the best. So, I'm like, come by, come by. Mm -hmm. I just pushed the baby out. Mm -hmm. And I put him to What? So, by the time NASA Kuja, Alipata already have delivered. Niliam wani kuzaa kam baya kam baya. What? I did I did I didn't want to think about anything. The repercussions. Or... I didn't want to think about it. Because if I wait for this doctor, apa ni yongo jau nas? How I could? Yal ame kujia kani angali then a parudi. So what what was I to do? And so many Young people wana za wana 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 Immediately, there's a voice just because I to Gina. So I was just wondering mm -hmm. because Kani boy already in Kosha prepare Maka Gina. So only them are Makuja Fanya. Now, Mr. Kiki's Jana will go and attack a total Vulan. Eh, what I could jump to Tom's Jana. I was a boy. Hey, I was a gozo attacking him with a Gina Gani. Mill Kosha prepare baby boy. I didn't want a boy. Wait, see, I didn't go back as long on common. Kwa ni mwenu ya? Zambulana. Misa. Kwa mwenu ya gwa sasa, what do you want me to do? Ita imi yote uko peke yako. Eh? You still alone. You are no mungu, as you say. Kwa the moment ali toka, I said pray in tongues. What? Ali toka ni kanda kongia na tongues. I prayed a lot. Mali sasa mali ilikuja kakatizwa Ni mali sasa ilikuja ni kondisho jenda mtoto Kafungwa Now I said no akikelewa hapa I was still asking God in my spirit na mwita nani Jithenem Shekaina just came about Shekaina Shekaina So you named your baby Shekaina 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 Zawadi So she's a gift from God She's a gift from God Yes Makes sense after all the yeah, pain and, also, and suffering yes. you've gone through. And also, I have gotten her where? Is she kind of grudgy? Wow. Why not? Such a great revelation. Do you believe that maybe it's your answered prayer? Yes. Because you're asking what name she like give her? Yes. Wow. Thank God. So now the, the whole process was now over. How's, the, how's your kid now? How old is uh, she? She's three years old. Three years old. Thank God. Three years down the line. Yes. Wow. That's a very, very encouraging story. Maybe there's someone who's watching you at home. Maybe she has the same story or she's facing the same challenge, challenges that you were facing at that time. What uh, word of encouragement would you, you know, render to them just to make them feel alive? You can look at the camera. It does not matter the challenges that you go through. Always keep your prize on the Lord. He's the only person who can comfort you and encourage you. Without him, you are nothing. And if you are going through some challenges, always look for a prophet or a person. Just look for a living altar in short. Yeah. Wow. And you shall receive a deliverance and everything shall go according to God's plan. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. It's very nice having you in our studios today and uh, indeed it has been a wonderful experience. I myself have learned a lot of things and thank you so much for coming to the show and for taking your time and the confidence to share your story. Thank you very much. Thank you. And for you, our viewers back at home, thank you so much for taking your time, attention to watch my testimony show today. I do hope that you have been encouraged, you have been motivated and inspired and remember, the best is yet to come. Always look unto God, for He has your answer.
basing on the story that you have just heard. Challenges make us stronger. Eventually, she emerged a strong woman. I hope to be seeing you next Thursday for yet another wonderful, glorious episode of My Testimony Show. Remember, it's all for the glory of God. See you next Thursday. God bless.